there's something else we need to talk about before you start writing code. Go ahead and download the starter code project for My Favorite Movies and then open up the info.plist file. I believe it's located in supporting files, info.plist. Remember how we had to modify the info.plist file in the image request app? This accounted for images that used HTTP instead of HTTPS. Well, as of now, the movie database also relies on HTTP to actually make some of its requests for images and such. And to adhere to Apple's ATS standards, this just won't cut it. So we've made some changes to the info.plist file. And we'll collapse out the app transport security settings. And let's just collapse all these so you can see everything. Instead of allowing arbitrary loads like we did in the image request app, and remember this looked like, I think we'd go here, allow arbitrary loads, yes. So this property we've gotten rid of. We don't need this property anymore. To do this, we've used the exception domains dictionary, which in itself contains dictionaries for each domain that the API uses. And for each domain, we can specify that we want to allow it to use insecure HTTP loads. Now I know some of these key value pairs you haven't seen before but it's not really important that I get into all of them right now. The only one that I want to point out is NS includes subdomains. This key provides a boolean that says whether or not you want settings of a domain, say like cloudfront.net, to apply to all of its subdomains. A subdomain is an extension to a domain name that's used to organize resources together. For instance, udacity.com is a domain and it has the subdomain review.udacity.com. On review.udacity.com, you'll find web pages, images, and other resources that are related to Udacity project reviews. So if we were to set NS includes subdomains to yes for udacity.com in our info.plist file, that means we'd want to extend any settings of udacity.com to all its subdomains, like review.udacity.com, discussions.udacity.com, and any others. I just wanted to make you aware that these properties have been updated for my favorite movies. If you want to read more about these properties, the ones that you can use for ATS, I've posted a link in the instructor notes.